Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new in Blender and you are interested to make game assets, this tutorial series is for you. In this tutorial series, you will learn how to create the base mesh, some modeling tips, create a UV unwrapping, sculpting on the surface, create a normal map, export the assets into the Quixel Mixer, learn the basic interfaces inside Quixel Mixer, making a stylized texture, back to Blender and create the material, and finally render the scene. For those who don't know, Quixel Mixer is a free and a powerful software to making texture. Quixel Mixer allow you to use texture and assets from the Megascan library. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download Quixel Mixer to start. Select the cube, hit one on the numpad to go to the front view. I prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts. You can see the keyboard shortcuts in the corner right here. Tap to edit mode, A to select all, mouse right click, merge vertices, claps. In the edit mode, hold control, mouse right click to add a new vertices. Keep that in mind, control Z to undo. As you see, we need only to create the half of this model. Make sure to place those vertices along the z-axis. You can add new vertices with Ctrl R and scroll the mouse wheel up and down. Or click on this one, Ctrl Shift B to add above it. To add more vertices, scroll the mouse wheel up and down. As you see guys, that makes the curve smoother. One more time here, select this vertex, Ctrl Shift B. By pressing Shift R, you can repeat the last command. Now when you are happy with that, A to select all. In the edit mode, click on this icon to spin. In the top right here, I can choose the axes. In this case, we need to spin along the Z axis only. You can change the steps from here. Keep that in mind. We don't need to go too far with the geometry. By click on drag on this plus, we can spin along the Z axis only. Also, you can click here to open the spin box. We need to spin 360 degrees along the z-axis and check auto merge. Keep that in mind, every single edge, vertex and face has a normal direction. The normals are very important for the modeling, game engines and so on. Click on this error and check face orientation. All what you need to do is to turn all these faces to blue. A to select all, Shift A to recalculate normals. Click here again and uncheck face orientation. Right now we need to smooth this shape. Click on this icon, normals, auto smooth. Mouse right click, shade smooth. We need to join all those vertices together. Select all of them, hit M at center. The same thing for the button, select all of them, hit M at center. Select this vertex, hit Ctrl plus numpad to increase your select, Ctrl minus numpad to decrease your select. Select all these faces, X faces. By holding Alt and left click to select this loop, EZ to extrude. Hold Alt click on this loop, Ctrl B to add a bubble. Don't forget to scroll the mouse wheel up and down to add more geometry. We can also rename the object in the outliner just like that. And now we need to add a UV unwrapping. Go to the UV unwrapping. Hit A to select all. As you see, I don't have a UV unwrapping for this character. 
make sure to activate this button Hit 2 on the keyboard to go to the edge select or click on this icon And now we can add a cut on the top Hold Shift Alt and make a cut right there And one around here and one on the button Go to UV Mark Seam By holding Alt, select this seam, go to UV, Mark Seam. I also forget to clean my mesh, sorry about that. A to select all, right click, merge vertices by distance. I just removed the overlap vertices. Look at there, removed 11 vertices. A to select all, UV, unwrap. It's look fine, but I think I need one more cut in the middle. Hold Alt, click here, UV, Mark C. A to select all, U on the keyboard, unwrap. Hit N on the keyboard. As you see, you have to reset the location rotation scale to default. And this is very important too. To do that, Ctrl A, all transforms. And now, A to select all, U, UV unwrapping. Back to modeling section, Shift D to duplicate. Mouse right click. You can rename the object from the outliner as an example, high poly. So guys, that's it. In the next video, we are going to sculpting the texture and export the project into Quixel Mixer. Stay safe and motivated and peace out.